Om Shanti, today is your 135th day of your Godly Blessing and in today's blessing God tries to tell us one method through which we can overcome our weaknesses and that one method is the only way where the power of the soul or our mind can increase. We go through our life with difficulties, we come overcome them and then we come into again difficulties and problems. Why that cycle happens? The reason lies in this Vardhan. Let's go ahead and understand what Baba has to say over here. Baba says, may you become full of all powers and finish your weak sanskars, weak habits, with the light and might of knowledge, the light of knowledge which God has given us and the might of knowledge. So we have the light, but if you don't have the might, might means the power of knowledge, then it becomes difficult to overcome those weaknesses. So let's understand what Baba has to say here. Baba says, with knowledge, you become aware of your weak sanskars. We come to know what all weaknesses do we have because God is the person who can actually let us know where we are bad. If any other person tells us that you are wrong or you're not good or you've got so-and-so weaknesses, we come into ego or we come into some form of despising energy and Baba or God when he tells us as a being as a person that my child you have got these issues in you that's the time we find it very sweet because it is God who's saying it so Baba says with knowledge you become aware of your weakness and weak sanskars and when you receive the understanding of that those sanskars then become suppressed for a short time. We try to suppress. Let's say, if you got anger, you try to suppress anger. If you got lustful thoughts, you try to suppress those lustful thoughts. If you got ego, you try to suppress ego. So God says you'll try to suppress them because you've come to know what is right and what is wrong. But the more you try to suppress them, the more they are there within yourself. They've not come out or they've not completely extinguished. So God says, there's a method of doing that. Do not suppress them. In the beginning of my journey in the Brahma Kumaris until today, I realized that I had been suppressing quite a lot of habits, my old habits. But then I realized, the more I suppressed, the more they were coming into my mind. The more I ran away from them, the more they were coming into my thoughts, into my actions also sometimes. And that used to make me feel tired to overcome those sanskars. But then the method is, you do not suppress them, you face them with knowledge, with the light of knowledge. So then God says, in order to finish weak sanskars, you need the extra force of the light and might of knowledge, not just light of knowledge. With the light of knowledge, with the understanding, we suppress them. But we need the might of knowledge. So what do we do for that? For this, as well as being a master almighty authority, once you get the knowledge, which is godly knowledge, you become the master almighty authority, authority over the truth, which God has given us. Truth about what all weaknesses are there within us, why those weaknesses come within us, what do we think because of which those weaknesses persist in us, and what do we need to change in our thoughts so that those weaknesses leave us. So we become the master almighty authority. Then, and master knowledgeful. Baba says, you become master knowledgeful also, that you know everything, you understand everything. One is to know everything, one is to understand everything, and one is to be able to act upon those weaknesses after knowing everything, and remove them and change your sanskars and have a different character and lifestyle altogether. So Baba wants us to come to that level. And then Baba says, and master knowledgeful, you also have to be a checking master. So along with being a master almighty authority, and master knowledgeful, you have to be a checking master. Checking master means you have to be constantly checking which thoughts are coming into your mind. If they are pure thoughts, you automatically don't have to be worried about them. You won't be concerned about them. It will be lighter. As soon as an impure thought arises in your mind, or throughout the day you thought certain things for a certain period of time, check what was the seed of it. Where did it arise from? Which God has already given us the knowledge. But how do we do that? By not cursing ourselves, by not being guilty about it, by not by putting ourselves down 
and that is where the difference lies god says you get the knowledge you do a mistake you put yourself down you're not good you're not good for nothing you don't have the courage to do it and this self talk is something which makes us more weaker instead of making us powerful you have the light of knowledge what is right what is wrong you've done something wrong but because of cursing yourself or putting yourself down or looking down upon yourself or comparing yourself with other souls you train yourself out because the power is not there light is there but the might reduces so what do we do for the light to be there and the might to be there the bible says use knowledge to fill yourself with power how do we do that and thereby increase your churning power churning means what you have seen a dynamo dynamo which used to be put on a cycle and still is being used it rotates along with your tire now if there is no cycling obviously the dynamo is not producing any energy similarly over here also if we are not churning the knowledge continuously as much as possible there is no dynamic effect happening so the churning of the knowledge has to happen in the thoughts knowledge if it sits over there it after some time it is not given any attention anything which is moving you give attention to that right anything which is still hardly any attention goes to that anybody who's dancing you'll be observing that person because it's in a dynamic motion and that same person who's sitting down doesn't have so much of value when that person starts dancing you were like oh wow that's nice similarly over here we have to do the dance of knowledge within our minds that means we have to churn the knowledge and when we are active in churning that knowledge then the power increases and then the light also increases and then baba says you will then become full of power power to overcome the weaknesses within us so i leave you with this this is my own practice which i'm focusing on because yes weaknesses take over they overcome us and we need to keep on reminding ourselves about the power to churn the knowledge what is that knowledge you'll have to come and learn it at brahma kumaris a beautiful knowledge with which peace and prosperity is guaranteed so i leave you with this vardhan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.